I have a July 4th project to share with you guys. Um, since I'm not sure what our plans are for July 4th, I thought I'd go ahead and share this with you early so that, you know, in case I, I am busy. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, it is a few things. First of all, I created these cute little medallions, or they kind of look like prize ribbon, I guess you can say. Um, so I made these little rosettes and put the tails on the bottom and I think they came out so cute and I used a couple of dies and then for the fishtail banners on the bottom for the little ribbon um, bottom part there I basically just hand um, cut them so let me just share with you guys what I used uh, for the medallion, I did go ahead and use this um, Sizzlets, and it's by Scrappy's Cat, and this one is called Accordion Fold Flower Set Number 2, and that's how it looks like, and it's an older die, and I basically used just the rosette part here. The die basically looks like, let me show you, it creates actually two different... Um, Sorry about that. It creates two different rosettes. It has two different edge on it. And um, I used both of them. So I thought those came out really cute. Um, and I did create them uh, to use on uh, a project that I'm going to share with you guys in a minute. So there's the first one. Um, I did use also the, the star die that I had gotten from... Um, White Lotus on Amazon and it, it's this die over here and I used uh, the three smallest sizes and you'll see that in the next project that I share and I also used some ribbon from Michaels and from Joann's uh, actually all this is from Michaels and I also used some of my um, really thin ribbon um, in my stash as well and this one is from Joann's so I did use all of these and the ribbon right now at Michael's for July 4th I believe they are 50% off so I did take advantage of that and um, what else I think that's it oh and then this is an embossing folder that I had gotten with the stars and that is from Tuesday morning. And I actually haven't shared that in my hauls because um, I just recently got it. And it's a Dairies embossing folder. And this one is called, um, what is it called? Embossing fold, I guess it's embossing folder stars. And that, oh sorry, that is the number right there, 1821845. Okay, that was my daughter you heard there a little while ago. Okay, then I also created this memory decks for my July 4th um, um, project uh, to go on my spinner. And yes, I have been playing with my memory decks um, for a little bit now. Uh, my friend Sophia got me into it, and so um, she shared a couple of um, memory decks cards that she created, and they were super cute. And I did purchase um, memory decks, a couple of memory decks dies, and I'll share that on my haul video. Um, I, I do have another haul video for you guys, um, and I did get that from Amazon. I also bought the punch, the Heidi, no, yeah, Heidi Swap um, Memory Dex punch and a spinner. So, and for the image right here, I used a Greeting Farm stamp, and she is part of a set, uh, which is called Hatters. So remember this one, you guys. I love this and trying to use up stamps that I haven't really used. Um, I used uh, this image right here, Amy. 
and I've already cut them up so they well they look like that I can't remember which one Amy is I think this is Amy right here so um, of course I altered it a little bit just to suit my my needs here um, you know I cut out the feather and then I paper piece basically you know the hat and her outfit and then this I cut this little flag from a paper which is doodle bug and that's what I use for my projects for both the um, the ribbons here and also for the paper piecing and the background paper right here um, what I used actually I only have scraps now because I even used the cover and it's a doodle bug paper called patriotic parade and it's an older stack because I got it at Tuesday morning and so as you can see I only have scraps left so I almost killed the paper pad so it's a six by six paper pad um, I also use this um, foiled kind of a holographic paper and I can't remember if I got this at Hobby Lobby or Michaels, but they have little starbursts on them and it's perfect for this um, project. Also, another thing that I had picked up from Tuesday morning a while back is another doodle bug. And this one is a four by six album insert called Stars and Stripes. So I also picked this up to supplement the six by six paper. So I will show you my next project. I created another <laughs> mini album. I'm kind of on this mini album kick right now because I took out my um, bind it all. And so since my project, you know, my mini albums are coming along so quickly, I'm just basically, you know, taking out my paper pads that, you know, a lot of us are hoarding. So <laughs> I promised my husband that I would be using up my papers. So, um, I created another mini album. So for this one here, I used um, this uh, metallic, um, the wire, which is this metallic color. Um, and I thought it was perfect because it kind of goes with the silver. Um, I made this tassel, of course, inspired by Nurse Tara. I learned so much from her, you know, um, all the dangles and tassels and, um, purse charms that she makes she is amazing so I will leave her link down below and um, yeah I just used up a lot of my ribbon that I showed you and some rickrack too from um, uh, what do you call it oh here it is my rickrack this is the one from last year and this is um, from Target it was a three dollar rickrack uh, set and I used this pretty sequence bow right here. I cut the tails off. Um, and that's from my friend Mimi. Hi, Mimi. Thanks for all the beautiful sequence um, bows that you got me. And then I just strung some beads and used um, some of my chain here. Or um, a blingy embellishment chain there that I don't even remember where I picked it up if it was from Hobby Lobby or Michaels <laughs> I can't remember um, anyway it's from my stash I just put a jump ring there and then for the cover right here I basically fuss uh, not fussy cut but I cut up the cut this out of the cover um, because it's the really the only image um, from the paper line the patriotic parade um, the papers were basically just, you know, like background paper. It didn't have any characters on it. So this was the only one that I, um, was able to cut up, uh, from the cover. It's so cute. It's a little bear. And there's one of those, um, rosette ribbon that I made. But for the tails, I actually used ribbon. Um, the one from Michaels. And this is one of the... You know, those um, uh, four by six album insert, the one I just showed you from Doodlebug um, from uh, the Stars and Stripes. This one here, and I backed it up on that silver, you know, um, star burst uh, 
cardstock that I just showed you. Cut out a star there and another star there. And then these little tiny stars are actually, can you guys see that? Um, they are from, um, I don't know why I wanted to say King Company, but it's not. It's actually from Queen and Company. And it's one of these booklets that I had picked up from the, um, the expo long time ago so love using that came in handy and then when you open it up and I hope I'm in frame here let me um, zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the pages a little bit better okay so for the first page right here I basically just cut up a couple of banners there layered that I cut this up from the paper and backed it up on that silver star paper uh, cardstock. Uh, this, the bicycles here, is another of those album insert, um, you know, like the journaling card, um, Stars and Stripes by Doodlebug. Uh, I cut it in half though to make this pocket. And then I used um, my tag die, uh, it's a Darius tag die. Yeah, uh, that I had gotten from Tuesday morning after I saw Erica's video I absolutely had to get it so I'll share that with you guys um, in a minute let me see if I can find it actually since I have a stack right here oh yes I was able to get my hands on this 99 cent um, sorry Darius uh, tag tag dies so awesome love it okay so for the next page here I basically just uh, layered again another one of the um, insert you know from this um, stars and stripes uh, journaling card and and then that paper right here, this is from the 6x6, the background paper. So I love this paper, it's so pretty. And then um, here is another one from the 6x6 paper. And I just matted it on um, the silver cardstock and the back looks like that. And for the little um, pull here or uh, tab, if you will, um, I actually just used one of my dies and folded it. So it's one of my nesting dies, the little bee die. Just to give you guys an idea, this one right here, remember I used this last time, I just took the smallest one and then um, folded it in half. That's what I used for my little tab. So that's the second page and these are very simple pages because, um, you know, again, I'm, I didn't embellish it because I do want to put photos. Um, usually for July 4th, we go swimming at my sister's and we do take a lot of photos. So um, I may just actually put um, some of our photos here, either from last July 4th or this year. So we'll see. Um, again, I cut up um, some more stars from my die. And then for here, just very simple, I just matted another one of those um, album inserts and just kind of cut it to size. And here is another mat for photos. And the base is basically, again, created, um, actually I created it um, just like I did the other one, similar. I just made a pocket using a uh, 110 pound um, paper cardstock from Michaels. It's actually, it was gifted to me by Mimi. Thanks again, Mimi. <laughs> and um, I basically just made my pocket and then of course cut this part out. And I'll try to get a, uh, what do you call it? A process video or a tutorial. Cause I know some of you guys are wondering how I made my pockets. Um, Here's the next page, and again, I put another one of those journaling cards, and it's not adhered all the way. I just actually used um, 
um, repositional tape. Made a couple of banners here again. Um, don't know what I, I'm going to do with this page yet, so for now I just did that. And then, again, I put uh, another one of... Oh, this is from the paper collection, and this is from the 6x6 paper, and I love it. They're like little... Um, what do you call it? Hot air balloons. Isn't that cute? And then this right here is from that Stars and Stripes uh, album insert again, and I fussy cut it. So I love that. I think it's so pretty. And then here is my mount from the 6x6 paper. Oh, I love this one too. It's so bright and fun with the little hearts. Again, this is from the 6x6. And this here is, again, from that journaling Stars and Stripes that I fussy cut. And here, another one of those journaling cards. And this is from the 6x6 paper. Super cute. And another mat. Again, your albums don't have to be, you know, totally elaborate. They can be just very simple. Um, sometimes we kind of overdo it and we embellish so much. Um, but this, this, you know, style is kind of like a no-brainer. I just really, I mean, I didn't really use that much. I just used one 6 by 6 in that journaling card stack. And that's it. And I fussy cut just to make my embellishments. So, or, or I die cut, you know, glitter paper or um, foiled paper. Here I used, again, that... Um, Joanne's ribbon because it's so cute um, and I put it here I adhered it with uh, just my ATG gun um, some more stars there here again there's that little bear again and um, they gave you two on the cover so I fussy cut it because I didn't want to waste that little bear it's so cute and then the starts and stripes here um, I also cut that I believe from the cover if I'm not mistaken and then um, love this design here, the starburst. I mean the starburst, the, um, what do you call it? The <laughs> um, fireworks, that's what I meant to say. Here's another pattern paper from the 6x6. I just love Doodlebug. So fun. This is, uh, um, I cut this apart, um, fussy cut this from the um, Stars and Stripes, um, the album inserts again. And then this is from the 6x6, and again from the album insert. I wasn't sure if I was going to fussy cut this little airplane, but I decided to just, you know, keep it as, um, as is on that journaling card. And then um, here's my mat. And then on the other side, I have very simple, there's this gingham pattern here, and I just put some stars. And this time I didn't take out the, um, the middle part here. I didn't pop it out. Instead, I left it to, you know, give it a different look. And then here, I made another pocket, and it says freedom. Again, one of those... Um, things that I fussy cut from the uh, Stars and Stripes and again the little tags that I created. These were fun and this was part of the paper actually. One side is like this and the other side they're like little tags. So it was perfect for that. And the base paper here that I use is actually a, I think it's a basil paper and I can't remember where I got it. It's from my stash and um, actually has like little polka dots on it. Um, it that's kind of embossed as you can see has texture and it's a basil paper so that is my July 4th project um, I hope you guys like it and again I'm having so much fun with these projects um, these mini albums and um, hope I gave you guys some ideas. So there's my project for today. Hope you guys like it. And thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.